Hey everyone, it's the bad guy here, back with another video. And today we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to be testing out Julian, who's the Wind Phantom Thief. Now, this is a unit I've had for the longest time. He, I got, I think he was my first 4-star. I 6-starred him, but I never really... I just really stopped, I stopped using him after a while because, you know, I got Lucians and eventually he just kind of faded into the background. But today, we're going to give him a fair test. First of all, these are his stats. Like you can see, I gave him some really great A runes. He has a lot of attacks, decent-ish speed, 100% crit rate. And we'll test him out in different places that he can be used in the game. I gave him my second Lucian's rune, so those are pretty good. Now let's just take a look at his skills shortly. No skill ups here. It's a stun. He has stuns on every single one of his skills, and he has an arena HP leader skill, which is not that good, but the rest of his skills are pretty decent. This one is a good skill, does a lot of damage, and gives you a 30% crit rate bonus. But I figured that since his other skills don't give him a crit rate bonus, there's really no reason to win him at 70% crit rate because he also relies on his other skills to crit, especially if you want to use him in arena as a, a nuker. So you need him to crit all the time so you can be you can have more reliable damage. So I, I recommend you give him high crit rate, 90 to 100 percent or 85 to to 100 however much you can get. But yeah, he has insane attacks base stats, so that's even higher than Lucian. So it's very it's very high. So make sure you take advantage of that. That's why I ruined him like this on Fatal. He take he makes a lot of use of, of the Fatal because of the high base attack. These are how his runes are looking. They could be better, they could be grinded, but they're decent. They're very good, actually. Alright, now that you've seen the runes, let's move on to the first place where I'll test him. Alright guys, the first place I'm going to test Julian out is in the Water Rift Beast. And I think he'll do very well here because he has elemental advantage and he, he is a damage dealer, so he'll do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and do a quick damage test on Julian. We'll put this on times 1. Let's see how well he does. Ninety six, not t not too bad. That's his second skill. I believe that's his hardest single target hitting skill, but he did pretty well. That's quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and put this on auto, so he, he can just continue like that. So as you can see, he doesn't do too bad. I mean, there are other monsters that, that do more damage than him, but I still think he does. Okay, that was twenty four on each hit. If you saw that, I'll s slow it down for you guys later on. So that's like seventy five thousand damage. Not too bad. If you don't really have many wind damage dealers, you can use him here, and he'll maybe help you achieve that S that you're looking for, or something along those lines. Otherwise, he's a pretty solid monster. He he does his worth isn't really extremely showcased here because he has three stuns, one on each of his skills. So he'd do quite well in a sort of PvP setting. But that's also a bit difficult because. He's squishy, so you have to bring a certain team around him that will protect him because he'll die to any random hit by a Theomars. So, all in all, just mainly an attacker monster. You can also maybe use him in TOA on Despair if you don't have anything better and you're early on because as you get later, as you get better later on, yeah, you get better options. So yeah, if you got him early on, you can use him in TOA. He'll he'll do pretty well. So as you can see, the team is doing well. We'll get an S for sure solid team as you can see I'm still using Kaito good all these monsters like most of them are four stars like you can relatively obtainable you're not seeing any lagmarons or any hard to get five stars here so, and this team always is it's a consistent S so if you look at my team here guys you can just if you have any of these monsters maybe you can look to building them to help you out to get that S in your in your water rift so you see solid run it's gonna win for sure Next place, um, uh, I'll show, I'll test him out. I think we'll do a few arena runs, as well as Kairos dungeons, just to show you that he can be used. But the root quality required for him to be used in your speed runs is quite high, so yeah. Not a bad unit. So we're almost done with this run. I took, like I said, I took the runes off my second Lucian for this guy, so we'll use him in place of my second Lucian in the next place where I'll test him out. So as you can see, solid S+. Plus. Now we move on to the next place where I'll test him out for you guys. Alright guys, the next place we're going to test Julian out in is in, is in GB10, in the speed team. We're going to take off this Lucian who I deruned for him, uh, and we'll put him in, Julian, and then we'll put in my... Kaito there. Let's see how this team does. 
it should still be fine. And it, Kaito can actually help you out earlier on when you're doing GB10 because he offers some stuns. But then again, he's also quite squishy, so you'll have to give him a bit of health for him to work. So it's going pretty solid so far. On the trash waves, you wanna. The, it's good if you kill them before these, these other guys, these crystals move because they'll do a lot of damage to your, to your team, and you don't want your team to take hits before the boss. So it's going pretty well, as you can see. No stun there. You need to ruin him with a bit more accuracy if you want him con to consistently stun. But I believe I, I believe you should forego the, the stun. Just something that's something that you get as a bonus. You want to make use of his attack. You want him to do a lot of damage, other than not, not really focus so much on stunning. He's, he's not more. He's not a support monster. He's more of an attacking monster. His skill set kind of, Okeanos reminds me of his his skill set a little bit, but he's like a weaker Okeanos because his stun is not consistent okay we got that armor break team sh this team should do okay the boss is gonna move and kill things but as you can see my Theomars is there to finish it off and one Lucian so it's not the safest team but it can work if you're lacking a second Lucian if you're lacking Lucian to completely you can form a team around him as a damage dealer and form a speed team that will help you will will work up for you guys and maybe help you progress further into the game now we're done with that let's go to the last place where I'm going to show him out show him off alright guys the last place I'm gonna showcase Julian in is in the arena now I had to change a few of it, two of his runes in the arena to make him a bit faster because of the speed of a speed tuning issue when you're in the arena you don't want the enemy team to be able to take to move in between you and ca and cancel uh, and cancel your combo basically so i changed this rune and this rune to give him more speed now these are his stats still okay won't do as much damage as in pvp i mean as in in pve but he should still do still do just fine uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this team over here just to showcase what he can do we're gonna be using him as a single target damage dealer not single target damage dealer, but uh, as uh, an AoE sort of cleave team with a stripper so you can strip the will runes and then he comes and de deals damage and maybe stun some people at the end now take in into consideration that Julian is very squishy as a monster and you do not want anyone to cut in between because he'll die to next to anything even Teor can kill him with the splash damage from from his AoE now as you can see we didn't get cut in between so we should still be able to carry this through let's see we'll put it on times one so we can see how much damage he does let's go 9000 on crit so it was something like 999 which is okay that's like 20 something thousand damage 24 25,000 damage I'm not sure my math is horrible but a lot of decent damage you can use him versus squishy teams or you can use him with double as in a double damage dealer sort of comp because he's not able to clear out the field by himself unless they're very squishy like what we just saw here so we're just gonna kill this guy and this should be a win 16,000 without armor break so you can see he does a lot of damage the downside is that he's very squishy though. Alright, that's one and that's a, s a way that you'd want to use Julian. I'm going to show you how I'd use Julian again. Let's find a suitable team. This, Would this work? There's a lot of fire here so I don't want to do that. This. Versus this. A lot of fire again so I don't want to do that. Because even Village Wolf can just bring him down. This one, I don't want to do that because Bastard will cut in between. Let's just see. A team that can work. This is basically similar to what we did before. I'm not finding a team that I can use it against. No. 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 
Okay. This? No. No. I'm getting tired of this. Okay. Maybe this one? Okay, we'll just try it against this one. Even though the Lyca might destroy us. But it's fine. Well, what the team wanted to use was this one. You don't have an attack or buffer, but you have a speed leader and the stripper. So even if Chloe moves, you can strip and then they get their turn. We're going to remove Seagate from there. And then we're going to put this guy. He's going to be targeted by by Leica, but we should still be fine. We should still be fine. Let's try it out. Hopefully this works. So this makes up for his shortcoming of not being able to do enough damage to kill the entire team by himself. So with another damage dealer, you should be able to clear a tanky field like this. Chloe boss, as long as we get the strip off, we should be fine. We got the strip off. And then we do this. Zyro should reset everyone. And then you can see that he. This is why you want to have him. You want him to have more speed if you use him like this, because with the speed leader and him, he can move in between everyone else, and basically clear the field. And the field has been cleared, as you can see. Now it's just a single Leica versus this team. It's not gonna work, and we should win. And there you go, using what's his face, <laughs> Julian in. This is C1 Arena one around that yeah so you can see he, he works pretty well so that has been my take on Julian the wind phantom thief over here so if you guys don't my final verdict on Lucian if you don't have a Lucian or a second Lucian you can go ahead and build him if you're lacking in wind attackers maybe for the rift beast go ahead build him but if you have a lot of wind attackers and you have maybe a Kaito and two Lucians things like that then he won't really benefit you that much he's he has very little base HP look at Lucian's base HP a lot higher look at Kaito's base HP a lot higher his is at 7000 I tried using him when I was newer in giant speed in giants before I had Lucian's I tried using him in giant speed 10 and he died a lot very easily when it came to to the boss not to the boss, but even to the trash waves, because when you're early on, you don't have that really, your runes aren't that great. So you're unable to move before, to not let the the crystals move. So they move and then they do damage and then they kill, for, they kill Julian before you reach the boss. And then it just, you're like, what am I supposed to do now? So you can use him as a, if you're lacking damage dealers of the wind category in maybe pvp and in rift beast go ahead and build him if you already have plenty don't really bother he's not the best he has a lot of base at, uh, attack but he's very squishy and his uses are limited as you, as you can see but he he will excel if you don't have anything better so that has been julian in a nutshell let me show you guys the two runes i changed i put him on speed slot 2 and i put him on uh, this rune over here which gives him 14 speed so that has been Lucian not Lucian but Julian in a nutshell thanks a lot guys for watching if you guys have Julian out there and you want to build him and you're early on go ahead and build him he'll help you out he'll help you maybe even you can build him as a as a farmer for for the water stage I forget what it's called but he'll help you farm experience as well so he's not a bad monster he's not the greatest either but you can definitely find a use for him Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.